hello everybody welcome back to my channel today is a obviously more casual video i'm just chilling on the couch well on the floor but near the couch just so that i can sit down and talk with you guys about a pcs binder so this video is going to be for people who have never pcs before or just want to get more organized in your pcs i guess so this is not specifically for a pcs overseas anybody can use a pcs binder but I wanted to sit down and share with you guys what's in my PCS binder, what I recommend doing for a PCS binder, and all of that. So before we get started, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below if you like military-related videos, travel vlogs, life overseas. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to ask them down in the comments below or on my Instagram right here. I get a lot of questions on my Instagram and I'm so happy to help, I promise. No question is a dumb question. We've all been through this. So please ask all the questions you need. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so I put all of our paperwork over there. So you wouldn't have to like, I wouldn't have to hide really anything in here. But this is our PCS binder. It has like a little clasp like this. And this I got on Amazon. I will link it down in the description box below. I'm trying really hard really hard to get an Amazon storefront for y'all so I can just like put everything all in the one space you know so like if I mention anything I can just put it there but it, it's in the works okay it's in the works but for now I'm just gonna link it and we'll figure it out but this is our PCS binder so this PCS was my first PCS it was Jake's second or third i don't know we moved from fort carson to germany so our pcs and during 2020 so our pcs had to be very very organized so i decided to get this on amazon there are actually places and like things on etsy and i know of this one instagram right here that sells pcs binders i have never bought one from them so i can't necessarily like recommend them but I love what they're doing. I love the whole concept of what they're doing, making it super easy for everybody. So check them out if you want to purchase a PCS binder from them, but I got mine from Amazon, like I said, 17 times. So I got these little tabs where you can just like write on them with marker and then I can just take it off. So you can mark it with like where you're going, the PCS in July of 2020. Uh, we were supposed to PCS actually in February of 2020, but you know, things happened. So what I'm going to do in this video is just basically like a ca more casual video just to kind of sit down and talk about all the things that I have in mind. Like I said before, it's not going to be like a super organized, very detailed video, but I can do that and answering questions down in the comments. So let's get started. So this side, I have a couple papers in here just to kind of show you like what this situation is like but I have travel reservations because this is something that you're gonna need often and throughout the PCS you'll need this like very handy so this was where I kept all of our flight reservations and country stuff country instructions um, what else our itineraries travel questionnaires that we had to fill out and then this is a tab that I feel like is a little bit more personal. Like you may not have to have this, but just in case I did. So I have a apartment move out tab, which is basically where I put all of our paperwork from the apartment we moved out of just to kind of keep everything handy. I kept any paperwork of like moving out checks, you know, all of that. I would definitely recommend having something like this if you are moving out of an apartment. You don't have to have it in the front, obviously, but or moving out of a place, period, because keep your records. There's one thing that I know about PCSing, army life, moving around a whole lot, everything changing a lot. Keep your records, keep receipts, keep everything. Speaking of receipts, my next tab is receipts. So I have actually, let me pull it out. I have a plastic baggie with our receipts from the trip. Whenever you get to where you're PCSing, you, your uh, service member will have a time. I wasn't there obviously, but you'll have, they'll have a time where they can like submit their receipts for reimbursement. So what I did is I just put a plastic baggie in here with a clip so that anywhere we go and ate, you know, ate, got gas, 
whatever we needed to have reimbursed. Um, keep receipts that you think may not get reimbursed as well, just in case. Keep everything. Keep a good record. That's what this whole binder is for. So I have all of our receipts in here. Obviously, they're not needed anymore, but I kept them anyways. <laughs> There's our front section, and then we'll move over to my tabs, which I also got on Amazon. I believe I got these like paper sticky things that you can write on on Amazon as well. But there's something you can get at like Michael's, Office Depot, Walmart, I'm sure, Target, anything like that. Um, and these tabs, like these dividers as well. So the first thing I have in front is our orders and leave forms. So his orders and leave forms, but I was on part of the orders. You will need a bunch of copies of these. I think we had like six to eight copies of each of all the orders. Um, I don't think we had six to eight copies of the leave form. I think we had like two or three, but... The orders you will need a lot. Whenever you're in processing and stuff, he's gonna have like a ton of things that he's gonna have to give his orders to. So just go ahead and print them out before you leave. If you are traveling by plane as well, the airline might ask for them too. So especially during COVID, I'm pretty positive they asked for ours like every place we went. We I know we gave a copy to someone in Ramstein when we came here. So it's very important to have your orders and your leave form right there for you to grab as soon as you need it. So. My hair got stuck. Next tab, I have my command sponsorship information. This is how, I have a whole video on this, which I'll link right here, but this is how I was able to move with Jake overseas. All your forms that you need can be in here. And another thing you can do that I wish I had done was put another sticky, I did it back here uh, a little later, I think, but I put another sticky here. That would just say like DD form blank and this form blank and copy of blah 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 and how many copies I have and just all that stuff all up in here so it's not only saying that I have the command sponsorship tab but I have exactly how many I have and like all the forms that I have and so I know that in this divider I have everything I need if that makes sense all right next tab is our copies so basically this I have on here it says Merit certificate, Deer's enrollment, which I had another copy in my command sponsorship thing because you need that. But I have my Deer's enrollment copy, my social security card copies, passport copies, birth certificate copies. I don't remember anyone ever telling me that I like needed some birth certificate, marriage certificate copies, but like I don't think we were ever asked for them. But I do like to keep them with me on hand because. You never know. This is a perfect spot for them because right past our command sponsorship things, I could definitely have switched these two as well um, just to, they're kind of interchangeable, like the order. It's all up to you as well. So moving on. This tab is our POV, so our vehicle that we shipped overseas. We had all of the paperwork we needed. I printed out our reservation uh, like form on here. I had all of our information that we got once we dropped off the car. They'll have like inspections on there for you. Um, just basically any of the information, any of the paperwork that you get with this category, keep in one section. I did also put on here July 7th at 1300 because that was when our appointment was to drop off the car. So that's another thing you can do in the PCS binders on these little tabs is not only write copies and like what's actually in each divider, but like appointments, numbers, which I have back here but I'll have to cover it up in a second because I forgot to take it out but numbers emails of anyone always keep your emails or numbers of people that you're in contact with with P POV with uh, household goods with command sponsorship and deers and EFMP offices anything like that keep your numbers all in one space and you can even have like a whole section in here with just like important numbers that would really be helpful because it's really important to know who you need to contact if something goes wrong so next we have clearing record and clothing list this was just kind of like in the back ish section i probably would have switched these two as well um this was all of the paperwork that jake got as he was clearing carson all right i flipped this up hopefully you can't see it if you can whatever this is the household goods section. I definitely should have put this a little bit earlier on, I think, for my next PCS binder, but we're not gonna be PCS, PCSing for a long time, so hopefully a long time. So this I just kept, whenever they came to take all of our goods, our appointment reminder sheets, um, any of the information that we got from 
anywhere. I kept all of it there. This is the number of the, the shipment company and they basically gave us to say, here's this, if you have any questions, let us know, blah, blah, blah. Any contact information I left on here, all the signatures of everything was in here. I think that's pretty much it for this. But like I said, keep all of your receipts for all kinds of people that you talk to and stuff. And then back here was my last uh, divider. Well, it's not my last divider, but it was my second to last divider. I didn't use my last one. This was just emergency documents, like, I don't know, forms that literally said emergency on them, like emergency form something or other. Uh, this was just kind of like random, like anything I knew I would need, but I didn't actually like have a space for, I would stick in here. Another thing that I would do next time is put like another tab and say, hey, this form, this form is in here, so that it's easier for me. I don't have to file through all of the things that were in this uh, divider for it, you know? But yeah, and then behind these dividers, the reason why I loved this uh, PCS binder so much is because it was not closed all the way or like, I don't know, it was, I was able to stick stuff behind here and just fold it and then keep this closed. So what I did is I took the papers that I got from Jake's clearing papers, or like any folders we got once we got here, anything like that, I kept in the back in their folders that we they were already in so I wouldn't lose anything. And then yeah, I just kept it back in here. Yeah, that is pretty much everything that you need to know with PCS binders. Um, I mean, not everything you need to know. The best resources for PCS binders are Pinterest, or like if you just Google what should be my PCS binder, my hair is crazy, uh, what should be in PCS binders, you'll find lists on lists on lists of things that people think that you need to put in your PCS binder. One thing I would say, I have kind of said it earlier, but if there is something that someone posts and says like, you need to have this in your PCS binder and you're like, mm, I'm fine, always always safer than sorry to just like print out whatever you need you're gonna be using a lot of paper i know but you can always recycle it or like keep it for the next vcs you know things like that but i think pcs binders are so helpful like not even just helpful like they are a 100 percent needed so i really hope y'all enjoyed this video if y'all have anything to add please don't forget to comment down below ask me any questions that you may have don't forget to follow me on Instagram, ask me any questions there if you have them and you don't want to comment them or you just want to be friends. I want to be your friend, so do that and subscribe and all the things. I really hope you like this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.